Shalom, 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 Israel, Brother Amos with the Watchman for Israel. First and foremost, as we always do, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, to the brothers pushing this truth in strong sincerity, laboring on the highways and byways, making their body a living sacrifice, doing all they can for the hopeful elect and for the nation of Israel. I want to give y'all a strong Shalom, um, continue to labor and endure. To the sisters holding it down in the household, reverencing the husbands, being the teacher of good things to the younger women, and unto the children, uh, being an example. I want to give you all a strong shalom. And to the men and women forsaking this world, coming back to serve our God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, I want to compel you all to be at the church of Berea, to search the scriptures daily and diligently to see if the words that be spoken to you are true or not. Right? Let the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh be true and every man a liar. If it's, not, if it's not thus saith the Lord uh, Flee from those men And seek unto those who read Thus saith the Lord according to the Holy Scriptures So that you may get a good understanding And hate every false way That's not of the Lord Right So we're going to start off with Romans chapter 1 And verse 26 Right like I wanted to highlight these Because we're going to get to the point Of what I'm talking about For this cause Yahweh gave them up Unto vile afflictions For even Their women did change Their uh, natural use Into that which is against nature And likewise also the men Leaving the natural use of the woman Burned in their lust One toward another Men with men Working that which is unseemly And receiving in themselves That recompense of their errors Which was meat and even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, right? Fornication is the topic of what we're talking about today. Now, in this world today, fornication is known as... Uh, the so-called white man's terms of adultery You're being married and you sleep with someone else Right, you're being a married man and you sleep with someone else That is not what fornication is according to the Bible Right Fornication is illicit sexual acts Right, horrific things That's why Paul started off talking about women leaving their natural uh, use and men burning in their lusts one towards another. Let's right, let's go down to the Strong's coordinates of fornication, which is pornea. Sounds very uh, familiar. Something that's pushed a lot in this uh, in this world, right? Pornea also sounds like porn, right? So let's get the definition of what pornea fornication is, right? Excuse me. Excuse me. Illicit sexual intercourse. Example. Adultery. Fornication. Homosexuality. Lesbianism. Intercourse with animals. Sexual intercourse with close relatives. Sexual intercourse with a divorced man or woman. Well, you know that's a divorced woman. <laughs> Of the defilement of idolatry as incurred by eating the sacrifices offered to idols. So that's the true definition of fornication. Illicit sexual acts, bestiality, homosexuality, lesbianism, intercourse with animals, close relatives, right? These things. These are not going to, these actual actions are not going to allow you to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now, there's many people who come into the truth who were fornicators, right? They took their part in the lust of this world and did illicit things, sleeping with their aunts, with their, um, you know, or their sister or their brother, bestiality, homosexuality, lesbianism. Right, but the Lord has given that uh, opportunity to repent and come out of that lifestyle that these people or our people used to indulge in, 
right? Let's go to Galatians 5. Let me go to 19. Right? Galatians 5 and verse 19. Now the works of the flesh, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, that which do so, which have do such things, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So those who partake in any of these actions will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Well, you can kiss that, that gate that you thought you was going to goodbye. The works of the flesh are the works of Satan. The works of this world in which you're not of God. Right? You're imitated to God if you continue with the works of the flesh. Right? This is not a, a I can choose my own lifestyle type of thing. This is get down with what the Lord has told you to get down with or depart from me that work of, of, of iniquity. Right? Let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians 6. Right? 1 Corinthians 6. We're going to start at 18. Because a lot of people struggle with lust and things that they shouldn't, uh, you know, they were introduced to at a young age. And that demon caught on to them and they won't let, and the demon won't let them go. But this demon only comes, you know, goes away by prayer and fasting. So you got to make sure that you're examining yourself. And when that old man tries to come up, that demon tries to come up and vex you and make you want to do things that you shouldn't do. You got to remember that the Lord has given you the spirit to do all things. Which includes casting out demons in his name. Right? So this is uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 18. Flee fornication. Every sin a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. So if you commit fornication, you pretty much hate yourself. You're abusing yourself like a drug addict. Or a wino. Or somebody who likes to... Uh, What's uh self uh what's it called? I can't I can't think of the word right now. It's, it's on the tip of my tongue. Right, self mutilation. That's why I wanted self mutilation. You're like one of those people. If you're laying down with beasts, if you're laying down with a woman who was put away for adultery. Right, these things we have to flee from. As much as it may be uh easy to to do. Or, or partake in We gotta flee from all Manner of wickedness Chiefly fornication Chiefly sins against our body Right Because these that do so Are not gonna inherit the kingdom of God They're gonna be punished That's who, that's who the most high is gonna judge Let's go to Revelations 21 Go down to verse 7. Come on, man, get out the way. It's a lot of This is uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse number 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire, which burneth, for, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So all these people who fit these characteristics of serving the flesh and loving this world are going to partake in the lake of fire. They're going to be destroyed. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's just how it is. The Lord has no cut cards with them. So you have to make sure 
that you're fighting these demons. Fighting that demon to want to commit uh, fornication. And they should push you to stay away because a lot of our people, they deal with uh, pornography addictions. Knowing that pornea is the original word for fornication should want to drive you away from dealing with that. Right? Because you stumble across something on those sites and it'll trigger an interest in you that you didn't know that you had and now that demon is on you. Have you looking at things you shouldn't be looking at? Have you desiring things that you shouldn't desire? Right? So this is Matthew chapter 17 verse 21 and I'm going to end off on this. How be it, this kind go if not out but by prayer and fasting. So to remove that spirit of fornication if you are battling this can only be let out by prayer and fasting. Confessing your faults. Reaching out to brothers and sisters who can help you get over this demon that is vexing you. Don't live uh, uh, don't live in fear that you can't get rid of that demon. Because that demon can be removed in any time. It's all of the Lord's will. But it only comes from prayer and fasting. So I pray that whoever is battling this be strong in the spirit fight the good fight and keep pushing towards the kingdom with that I say shalom